Good morning, I'm Preston Spratt, and we're at Sprattronics Learning Lab, and we're gonna be unboxing our new season of First Lego League. We're gonna unbox two different sets today. We're gonna unbox our First Lego League Explore, which is for elementary students, early elementary, and we'll be unboxing our First Lego League Challenge, which is for upper elementary and middle school students. And let's start with our First Lego League Explore box. This year, this theme is called Masterpiece, which is an arts-based theme. And I believe this first box is going to be our engineering manuals. And here they are, our engineering notebooks for Masterpiece. Looks like we've got a few engineering notebooks. This is for our students to take notes in and to guide them through the lessons. And then we also have a team meeting guide. And so this is our teacher's guide that shows us how to teach the program and go through everything. And so it has the student's engineering notebook inside, as well as some good tips on teaching these lessons over the next 12 weeks. Next up, we're ready to open our first LEGO League Explore kit. And let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have in here. All right, I see lots of colors. I see lots of little minifigures, like a genie lamp and a paintbrush. Henry, if you want to come take a look at this, you're welcome to. I see something that looks like a lock. And so this looks pretty cool. A saxophone, music, all sorts of things related to art. All right, so we will unbox this in just a second and take a look at what's inside. But I'll just set that there for now. And we'll dive into our first LEGO League challenge now. So again, this first package is probably going to be our notebooks, our engineering notebooks. And so here they are, the robot game rule book, another robot game rule book, and then our engineering notebooks, we get two of those. And then these files are all available on the first LEGO League website. So we were able to print out individual pages for students if we don't have enough notebooks for everybody to use, as well as our team meeting guide. All right, our next one is going to be a challenge set. And this is the set that's for upper elementary and middle school students for First Lego League Robotics. You get one long box when you order the materials, and our first thing that we're going to get is going to be the mission mat. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the zip ties that are on it, and then set this off to the side, and we will roll that out in just a second onto our game mat. So we're just rolling our game mat out on our robot table. We made this robot table by mounting some caster wheels just on a big piece of plywood. It's nice and low to the floor so our students can build on it, can put the robots down on it, and there's never a very big drop if anything were to ever fall off the table. We put two by fours all the way around it to keep the robot on it, and we built it just according to the specs from First Lego League. Next, you're gonna get a lot of bags of Lego pieces, and each of these are for different mission models or for innovation projects. So we'll go through these bags. I haven't looked to see what the mission models look like yet, but we will be going through over the next 12 weeks and building each of these mission models. I like to build all my mission models with the students so that they get a chance to build them, to see how they work, to see some new building techniques, because a lot of these have some pretty cool ways to move. So there's bag one. I like to lay them out in order, and then I get a Ziploc bag for every single one of these and label them. That way I have my mission models ready because we do First Lego League with multiple groups of students on different days of the week, and I like to give them all the opportunity to build the mission models before we affix them to our map. You may have more than one bag with each number on it, and that's because some mission models are really big and take a lot of steps. And then you may just have some loose parts in there. So we've got a couple loose, long axles. And I try to go through, like I said, and just lay everything out by number first, make sure I have everything. I'm pretty sure 15 is gonna be the highest number we have. Here's an unlabeled bag, and I'm gonna set that off to the side, and those unlabeled bags Usually those are some big bulky pieces and they will go with some of the mission models. And in the mission directions, it will tell you which bags and which extra pieces to use for the mission models. Let's see bag four, so looks like two bags there. Here are just a ton of orange people, bag 14. Let's see bag five has a couple of capes. 
in it. Let's see a bag for number three. It's got a purple and white theme. Bag eight, lots of little parts. May end up having to do two rows of this. Bag one, little connector pieces. Uh, bag seven, I think that one can go down there. And we'll start going underneath. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Here's one for bag two. Again, another unlabeled bag with scaffolding and long beams. And these will typically be used for those extra pieces. Another one for bag two. Looks like more connectors and lots of little balls. I'm happy to see some gears in there. We should be building some gearing mechanisms. Another bag for six. Here's another bag for five. And a small bag for eight. Here's a bag for three. Looks like there are some of those <clears throat> single brick units in there. Let's see, bag 10. I don't have a spot for that one yet, so we'll just go down here. Now we found bag nine. I see a person, or legs in there, and some, some star shapes I've never seen before. Here's another one with bag eight to go along with these two small bags. I see some Lego string in there. Here's bag 11. 10, 11, 12, 13, bag 10. Do I have a pile of 10 yet? Yes, it's underneath there. 10 has a neat corkscrew feature in it. I don't know if you can see that, but some corkscrew. I'm excited to see how those are going to come together in a mission. And then bag number six, Just a single bag there. No, no, six has lots of bags. So it looks like I have two bags for one, two bags for two, two bags for three, two bags for four, two bags for five, three bags for six, one for seven, one, two, three for eight, looks like one for nine, one, two for 10, one bag for 11, one bag for 12, one bag for 13, one little bag for 14, one bag for 15, these are gonna be your mission tokens. You'll build those and it'll represent, you'll lose a token anytime you help your robot go through the missions for the robot game. And then one of the last things that's in our box are these 3M dual lock stickers. And you'll attach these to the bottom of your mission models and to your game mat once everything is put together. And this will give you a chance to stick your mission models to your game mat. Now this is one of the last things that I like to do and I wanna make sure that the mission models are built perfectly and ready to go. You'll also have directions for where to go to get your mission models. All these mission models, the directions are online. And over the next 12 weeks or so, we will be building these mission models and talking about what they represent, ways to do the missions, but it should be a lot of fun for this year's first LEGO League challenge masterpiece. We're jumping back over to our first LEGO League explore kit. And this is our kit. We've got a cool stage on the front, and then it looks like just a basic stage on the back. That little thing I saw that looked like a lock earlier, turns out it is a gear mechanism, and we'll let you discover what that actually does. So there's a couple stickers on here that we're gonna need to use some scissors just to cut through so that we can get into the box. Now, when we go into this, there are gonna be several bags of pieces, and these are different mission models for different lessons throughout the program. There will be four different numbers that you'll come across as you go through. And right now is a great idea to start sorting out these bags. I like to put them into the each their own individual Ziploc bag so that I can have them ready to go when we do each lesson. And so we're going through these bags and trying to decide what we're gonna build. Here is your game mat, and it sort of gives you an idea of how to do the engineering design process, as well as a story. And in your very first lesson, you'll read that story with your students. And then this is our game mat. Fun thing to do with this game mat is to ask students what sort of images that they see on the map and what type of objects that they see on there, what they could be used for, um, what do you think the theme is, and what do you think these mission models might represent in the real world? and what could we do to learn more about them? So those are some great questions you can ask your class as you go through. And so we're sorting our bags right now and we're making lots of ideas of what we think is going to be 
in there and what kinds of things we're going to be making. And you'll come across a couple of instruction guides as well. You can get on First Inspires to download these instruction booklets, or it comes with some paper-based booklets right there if you don't have enough screens for your class or if you'd like to get away from the screen. And so there are two instruction books, two base plates that are tan, one green base plate, and then a lot of bags numbered one through four. You're gonna get a ton of Lego minifigure characters with this, and it's fantastic, the different characters that you have. Happy building, we hope you have a wonderful experience with First Lego League Explore.